moving on then, obviously, um, as I say, Johnny Fisher's been out in Sheffield. Onwards and upwards, it seems, for him. He can bring a crowd across the country. Tried and tested and, um, yeah, another good performance for him. Johnny done a great performance uh, on 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 that job up in Sheffield on the 6th. Since the Olympics has gone, I was really, really pleased and over the moon. But, I, I, you know, I, I felt that he would do that because he's been doing the business in the gym. And he's a really good listener. And, uh, and you know, we, we balanced his boxing, his conditioning. Sonny Cannon, you know, we, me, Sonny Cannon, my dad, all done our work with him. And uh, it was a great performance from Johnny. And onwards and upwards, he's, uh, he's off uh, to Las Vegas so he's, uh, at the weekend. So he's getting some experience with, uh, with um, Joe Joyce. Uh, and, and so that'd be good for him. And uh, yeah, so he's taking some time out in Vegas. And what better way to, to you know, to, to spend your, your support of time uh, learning your craft? Yeah. I saw he was out. Um, he was in a swim pool. I don't know where he was, but he was calling out Chris Lovejoy. It was on TikTok. I know that's a fight that's been talked about. How likely would you say that is? I know Johnny said he'd happily go over to America and he could bring a few hundred out there as well. Well, that that'd be a that'd be a lovely trip, wouldn't it? And uh, I've seen a little bit of Love Joy, and um, Love Joy, I believe, is a 10, 12 round fighter at the moment. And you know, Johnny's a six. Uh, if it, as I said, I said before, if it's on us, and Love Joy wants to come to the UK, and uh, <laughs> it, you know, I'd be very, very confident in getting that job done as well. But um, S Jam are, are managing Johnny, and, and you know. And, and they've not been in communication with me regarding that fight. Uh, but I have seen bits and pieces on the internet, and uh, Lovejoy seems a, a, a good, colourful character. But um, until until things get serious, then I'll, I'll start, you know, trying to get our heads together with Johnny and, and get a game plan together and get him in the gym and get him fit. Uh, but yeah, okay. but in the meantime, in the meantime, we're... Uh, we, we were we we're working with uh, Tommy Fletcher fighting on the 24th on the, the uh, Joe Joyce card versus Parker. So uh, young Tommy Fletcher, he's only a four-round fighter in a minute, but he's a quality prospect and one to look out for. Cruise away. Now, I've got an interview with him before he made his uh, pro debut. He's a, a good fighter and, um, yeah, I look forward to seeing him. That's a big card for him to be on. It's a good card for him. It's a very, very good card. And uh, Johnny Hedges, I, I'm expecting he'll get a date soon. Our light heavyweight prospect, uh, S Jam Manage, he's uh, he's kicking over in the gym. We're going to put our foot foot down on the gas uh, on Monday. I believe he'll have a date soon. Ebony Bridges, uh, IBF Bantamweight weight world champion. She's coming in the gym in a minute. She's uh, she's got uh, she's got sparring underway. So she's she's looking really, really good. I've got to say, she's like a little Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was going to ask for a little gym update. Uh, you've kind of gone through it there. What about Elbrook? <laughs> Elbrook, uh, Elbrook uh, I thought she'd done a great performance the other day. She, she's off to America. She's actually in America at the minute. She's taking some time out. She's uh, She's got a bit of work over there. And uh, she's been in the gym last week. She'd come in just to be around, a bit of training. She ain't training for nothing, but... Uh, mm. Likes the lifestyle and uh, she loves. To, she's addicted to boxing and training now. So she come in and uh, and, and done done a week and a half worth of training. And I, I ended up uh, sparring her against Ebony Bridges on the last day before she went to America. But she's in good spirits and she's. Uh, I'm not sure what she's doing uh, boxing wise. So, um, but she's fun to be around and uh, and if I can help her out, I will. Good to hear, good to hear. Obviously, we had the press conference for Chris Eubank Jr. kind of been this week as well. Um, there was bits of back and forth. Obviously, Chris Eubank Jr. saying, I'm only going to be coming in at 60% because of uh, myself being a, a bit weight drained. What did you What did you make of that to start with? <laughs> well, you know, I don't believe that. Uh, Through living through his dad's career, as in Chris, Chris Eubank Sr., you know, that's quite a... a He's a, he's a fighter, he's a warrior. So, you know, you see, this game's mental. This game's mental as well as physical, this game. And uh, that's all part of the mental strategy. And uh, and both of them won't leave no stone unturned, especially when they've got to make weight, especially when a big man's got to make a little man's weight. He won't be leaving no stone unturned. 
and he won't be getting in that ring at 60%. I can assure you that. I know your dad's obviously had history with with these guys. What or how big is this for, for British boxing? It's it's uh it's uh it's big because of their fathers, because of the history that their fathers had, and uh and like Chris Eubank Jr. said, and I think uh, young young Ben said, it you know will never 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 happen again. Probably not in our in our lifetime. So so for that reason, it's it's a very 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 big occasion for sure. And uh, it's it's going to be really really intriguing, really really intriguing. Young Ben is uh, he's, he's in phenomenal form. Uh, he is the little guy out the two, and uh, and Eubanks uh, he's got a considerable bit more experience over over Ben. But um, I think it's a well matched fight, uh, a very well matched fight. But the you know the weight, the weight side, confusing. unless you're around the two guys, uh, it's difficult to gauge. And it and and what I can hear of things, it is a very very well balanced. But I wouldn't be surprised if the bigger man, as in Eubank, um, comes in heavier and breaks breaks the agreement, but is, is happy to pay a penalty. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard some some people say that, to be fair. With your experience as a boxing trainer, how much will it fe- affect Chris Eubank's chin coming down, being a, a little bit weight-drained on the night? No, it's... Uh, listen... Fights are won and lost on the scales. Fights are won and lost on the scales. And uh, your chin will become very, very vulnerable when you're making weight. That's a fact. And um, see, he's been around. He's been around some good people, Chris, Chris Eubanks Jr. and Senior. So, so he will know what he's doing, but... It is uh, the old the old whiskers are very very vulnerable when you're when you're weight drained. So you know unless I'm in them camps and around them camps, I couldn't I couldn't uh, judge. But through my experience, uh, making weights all right, making weight, but performing at the weight, no one can perform at the, the weight that, which is not theirs, you know, naturally. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? No, I I understand exactly what you mean with. Connor, obviously. I believe, I believe, listen, if if the bigger guy's weight drains, bigger guy's weight drain, but the little guy is not weight drained, the little guy's got more fight in him, regardless of size. Regardless of size. That's that's through my experience. So who who wins with that being said? Because a moment ago you said that the bigger guy will potentially be the one getting the job done but with also that being said of him being weight drained um his chin's going to be more vulnerable how do you actually see this playing out connor's obviously coming off the back of a load of knockouts as well well uh, if the weight draining if if, if chris eubanks uh, is weight draining, he won't be performing to his best 100 percent. so therefore the little man will have the advantage but unless you're in and around both camp, camps and can gauge and see them on the scales and see, uh, see uh, the percentages they're working at, uh, you've got to be around it uh, you know, a couple of weeks to, 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 to really get a good, good judgment of it. It's, it's, it's really difficult for me to say, but through my, through, through my experience and what you said, little guys have dealt with bigger guys, especially when bigger guys are weight trained, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know if that makes sense. No, no, no. I'm sure people don't understand what you mean there. And just last of all, um, stepping back from your role in boxing, your day-to-day role, um, just as a, a fan of the sport, just as a fan of the sport, Mark, um, how excited are you for it? Oh, can't wait. I'm buzzing. I'm really, really buzzing for the fight. I mean, Saturday night with the big boys in, in Saudi Arabia, I'm buzzing. Yeah. Uh, ben Junior and, and uh, Eubank Junior. I'm buzzing. I actually bumped into um, to uh, Ben, young Ben, on on Sunday. On Sunday, I didn't bump into him. I was behind him in the car, and uh, oh. I walked that mint to ice cream. I congratulated him. I think he was getting a coffee in Costa Costa, Costa Coffee. But uh, I was over the moon for him, and I uh, gave him the thumbs up on that. But uh, yeah, he looked well. He looked well. My missus thought he looked like a little Mike Tyson. 
yeah, with the with the buzz cut hair as well. I I can't uh, disagree with that. But Mark, thanks for doing this. Uh, it's been good to get your insight. Uh, we'll definitely catch up again soon. And um, big fight this weekend. Loads of content on our channel. So um, yeah, thanks a lot. Good man, Joe. Appreciate. It. Good man. <laughs>